Okay, there's our first load. California Fire. Hmm, that's interesting. You used to belong to a fire department? The Beatles. Oh, that's wow. Cool. 20 years ago today. Charlie Peppers. These ones do look a little better, but they do look a little rough. Ruthless Records, easy. Oh, oh, That's oh, oh. Good right there. Hang on. Whoa. This yeah, is this is a very be. interesting. They're going to have to be in. Oh, what? Oh. oh, man. I was hoping we'd have some good records, and I think we do. That's awesome. Look at all these. This is crazy. Baby. What Rock. the heck? This is good. Run DMC, Mary Mary. Oh, my goodness. He's got his Raiders. This was the breakthrough for uh, Will Smith. Woo, there it is. There it is. Oh, dang. What is this? I think that's a thousand dollars in records. Do you agree? I agree. Thousand dollars. All right. What's up, Locker Nuts? It's a locker up time. Okay, this is that unit that we bought recently for just one dollar. Now, usually you guys are like, I can't believe you bought that for a dollar, but probably if you watched the last episode, you're like, yeah, I can believe you bought that for a dollar. I mean, actually, it looked good. Should have spent more, but after going through it, it's not really worth more. It's a lot of garbage. It's going to be a lot of expense to get rid of, but that's the game, right? That's the game. That's how we play it. You take chances. It's all a risk. It always is, almost always is. I should say it almost always is a risk, but this one, me, me, me. Okay, yesterday we went to the flea market. We sold a lot of this stuff, but most of the stuff was like dollar, two dollars, uh, maybe three dollars. Okay, so the plan for today is go to the dump and go to the recycle. Those are two things that we found a lot of stuff in here, a lot of garbage and a lot of metal recycling. So we're gonna do those two things to try to clear some space, get that garbage out of there so then we can look and see if there's any more good stuff in there. There's still a few boxes and there's a bunch of records, but I'm hoping there's gonna be some good surprises too. Let's find out. Oh boy. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I put all the uglies up front, all this garbage and stuff, uh, then it's, you open it up and yeah, it doesn't, doesn't get you excited to be working here. I'm talking about me. It doesn't get me excited to be working here. These are all good bins right here. This is all decent stuff. Okay, so we like this stuff right here. Eh, I don't know. Okay. All right, not necessary to keep talking about it. Let's just get working. I got a lot to do, and uh, I think we're gonna see some real progress here very quickly, very quickly. Okay, there's our first load. <laughs> and I say first because I think there's going to be a couple. These chairs, I don't know if you saw the last episode, but they had a cat scratch all down it. It's like pleather, but it's all tore up. So basically garbage. The uh, table I broke up that had chips in it, and it was just cheap anyways. Particle board, pressed board, garbage. This little stack right here is the good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> I'm using that term loosely as I often do. And then a couple electronics and metal uh, to go to the recycle. All right. So I got to drag all this back in here, but look at this. we actually made some decent room in here and I'm happy about that. Yeah. Anyway, let's look back here. What did I uncover? We saw that cot. Still not sure what I'm going to do with that cot. I'm either going to recycle the metal or bring it to the market, but this, um, uh, got some more grow lamps back here. I'm not super excited about that. The last grow lamp I brought to the market sold for a dollar with, with the, uh, ballast, the ballast super duper heavy so dollar for the pair uh this just really don't sell that easy so these are going to go to recycle um i got these particle board shelves here it's basically nice sheets of particle board i don't feel right about dumping those i'll probably bring them to the market just because wood is so expensive right now let me get this stuff back in head to the dump and then we'll be back here shortly
okay we're back we're back and there it is oh man it still looks like a full locker if i bought it like this i'd be like oh man it's a lot of stuff in here <laughs> <laughs> and i've taken a couple loads out already all right uh, once again take all this stuff out to get to the metal then we're off to the metal recycle Unfortunately, this turntable is pretty thrashed. I see the stylus here is busted. Sometimes there's value in that. There's parts all broken on it. Uh, it says direct drive. Calibre model 360. So I can look that up. See, it's making some noise inside, but oh well. Here's load number two. Okay, we got a fair amount of stuff. These legs right here, I'm a little nervous selling them, but I don't see what those go to. So I'm gonna take a chance and let them go. They are extremely heavy. They're very, very sturdy. And a whole bunch of metal in this thing. So, yeah, yep. We'll go recycle all that. And then let's take a peek in here. Because now that we've dug ourselves a little hole, we can get in and see a lot more. So all those lamps, those grow lamps came from here. And What's that? That looks like another appliance right there. Uh, what is it? Trash compactor? I'm not even sure what that is, but oh, I see some ballast back there. Okay. Um, huh. Well, I'm going to make a second trip to the recycle because this, that is metal right there. That's all metal. So that's going to go. And then this right here, this is metal, but this is marble. This is going to be a heavy piece. If I find the glass for it, it's sellable. If I don't find the glass, not. So... Hmm. There's some more chairs there. There'll be another trip to the scrap yard, so no problem on that stuff in there. We'll get to it soon, but yeah. This piece right here, unfortunately, and dressers are usually easiest to sell uh, as far as furniture goes. Um, oh, I thought that was broke, but it looks like it just needs to be screwed back in. Oh, maybe we can salvage this yet. I thought it was, I thought it was gonna be junk. There's a little scratch right here, but uh, actually, I think we can sell that. I think we can sell that. Someone can paint it. And then this big one back here, you can see the corner there is rubbed off. The corner on the other side is rubbed off. We saw that before. I think someone had a dog chewing on it. And then back here, we got this dresser and it's missing a handle. Maybe we get lucky in the handles in one of the drawers. There's some miscellaneous stuff in there. Uh, yeah, let's hope it's in there because maybe we can sell that too. I don't know. This one right here, still no sign of where the drawers are. And that sucks because that looks like that could have been a mid-century. See the, the cool legs on it? So, uh... We're running out of hiding spots, but it could be back there. Let's hope, let's hope. But there's two couches right there, and yeah. Anyways, ooh, my cheeks are getting pink. I'm working hard, and it's really warm today, which is nice, I love it. Tomorrow's gonna be raining, which is so strange, but it is spring, so I'm gonna have to pull the rest of the stuff back in here, lock it up, go. Let's see if we can make a little money on the metal recycling, though, that'll be fun. Oh yeah, real quick mention, uh, this is one thing that I did not take to the metal recycle. It says right there, uplift desk. That's a leg for one of those raising desks, right? Uh, man, I hope the other pieces are here for that. We'll find out. Maybe it's maybe the tabletop's in, wrapped in one of these. I'm not sure. This is a headboard right here. I assume that's a footboard, but well, I hope the rest of this is there because I can sell that for a few bucks and I might even keep it. We'll see how much that little bit of copper right there brings us.
Okay, that's what we got right here. 53 bucks. 53 bucks for all that metal. And there's the breakdown right there. The aluminum, 750. Steel, 35 bucks. I'm surprised by that. Copper wire, 675. And oh, I got copper pipe. That's the wires, $3.60. All right. So I thought the copper might be worth more than all that steel, but the steel really did add up. 350 pounds of steel. Wait, what happened to my money? <laughs> the wife came back. She swooped in. <laughs> took it. Or I could even get it in the wallet. Thank you. Well, you deserve it for all the hard work you did on this unit. I brought you your batteries <laughs> and a water. <laughs> and an aspirin so you don't have a heart attack. That too. Those gold earrings. Gianna said that it looks worse now. <laughs> than when we bought it, right? No. It doesn't? No. It doesn't look worse, but it doesn't look good. Oh, you got all. Yeah, see, I just have to push yeah. all these bins back because it's all the good stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, and the, the grow lamps were under there. Mm. So I cleared all that out. But that's a metal table right there. It's like marble? No, nah, it's metal. It's just painted. Yeah. So, this is marble here. This. But there's going to be a glass piece here. And if it's not here, then it's worth nothing. It's too bad. Yeah, but see what I mean about, like, dressers? There's one dresser. What's this right here? I haven't gone in there. Can I look? Yeah, of course. Okay. Um, oh, it's actually a photo album. Yeah, it's got baseball cards. It's silverware. Photo album. Oh, and silverware. That's what I mark it? Yeah, unless we keep it. This is Doug's photo album. I found a couple decent things in the drawers here. Ooh, what's up? So, but this thing's up here, it might be good. <laughs> Their dog totally did. Yeah. Envelopes. Yeah, that's envelopes. It is. Someone needs envelopes. Those are a good seller. Let's see if there's anything in this. It feels like it. Yeah, it's got the Lord California Fire. Hmm, that's interesting. You used to belong to a fire department. There you go. Okay. What is this? Uh, that's a drive tool. That could be expensive. Um, yeah, it could be. Right? It's it's piston super drive heavy. tool. Hilti DX 600 and you won't get reception here. We'll have to look it up later. You know what this is? This is like a um, For metal ballistics uh, nail driver right here. It's where you put the basically gunpowder in there, a, like a bullet. Really? And it shoots the nails to pound into concrete. Yeah. Oh, that's heavy duty. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Piston drive tool. A yeah. DX 600N? Oh, yeah, do not put, put them in your hands. That would not be good. <laughs> not good for your hands. Oh gosh, that just makes me anxious thinking about that. Oh yeah, I think those shelves are really cool. Because, I think that's Alameda piece right yeah, there. Yeah, because that's wood. I know, look at the corners. Corners, like wood. Look at how the corners have been cut out. That's pretty good. Yeah, those were actually really cool. I think so too. Th those are modern. That's what made me think, oh, maybe there's some modern, mid-century yeah. modern stuff in here. Because those are cool. And look at this dresser right here. Look at that, that, that that's the one drawer. Is that a and see it's got the nice legs on it. Electrolux, it's gonna be a, a appliance part of it. Do you think that's what's really Can in here? Alright, that's really good for you. Yeah. Oh, this is another coil. We had one at the flea market. What are they coils for? Uh for I think a refrigerator or something or great. It's brand new. Maybe we'll list it. Can't remember how much it was new for the other part. Mm -hmm. It's not that expensive. But thing to keep okay that's funny i took one of those coils to the market and i took a uh like a motor to the market and i think this is another motor because i have the same packaging mm -hmm. it's another compressor or something mm -hmm. there you go. wow so the other one did not sell somebody picked it up at the free sale and it's just like this is a brand new part the problem is I don't know if these are defective or working. Yeah. You know? It, one of the boxes said return on it or something like that. They could be like returns to Electrolux and then Electrolux sells all the parts off as, uh, in pallets or whatever. I think these are cool though. I do too. You want to go through the drawers? Yep. Hat ties. Cool. They're like raw. Let's see what brand they are. Charles Jordan. Let's see. Is it Michael Jordan's brand? I don't think so. They're kind of vintage looking. There are skinny ties which are kind of popular right now again. It's kind of hard to see them in this. They're really stuffed in here. Next one's empty. Empty. Yeah. Is there a reason you brought your purse in here? I don't know. No. I can take it off. <laughs> Leave it in the car. <laughs> empty. 
Empty. Empty. Empty. Dang it. Alright, the right. Empty. The right side I went through, so. Oh, really? Because there was stuff in front of those ones. This was light. Junk. He has a drawer open when you open that one. Nope. What's that? Empty. Oh yeah, that axe. That's... Is that firefighting too? No. Nah. That... No, but that'll sell at the market. Oh, okay. Well, what is in here? Uh, empty packaging. Yeah. Pull it out. Is this anything? Oh, Put it up there. We've got yarn and stuff up there. And this is all empty. Yarn. That's okay. Good. Up there. Nice yarn and box up there. What is this? So oh, the for... headrest to a massage chair. Oh, is it? Yep. Jeez. No, oh, this is a self-contained massage thing. Home edits, yeah. yeah. Any gold in there? Hmm? Huh? What's, What's this? Mm -hmm. No, it's nothing. <laughs> Could have been silver. Yep. Empty. Empty, okay. Empty. What other areas do you have to go through? We have this whole area right here. You want to dig in there? Here, what? you want to check this uh, top drawer right here? Sure. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, oh cool. Cool dresser, though. You want to check your piggy bank? Sure. What already is it? cashed in on that bank. I think it's just a beer bottle. Happy New Year, huh? What do you think this is? I think it's another appliance part. Okay. That's what I think. Want me to take it out? Sure. It's in an anti-static bag, so. You're so smart. I, it could be anything, but. Yeah, it says a point. I think it's, yeah, I think it's, it's like a motherboard or some kind of control board or something. Circuitry. What do you see? Posters. Posters. A band of gypsies. Pretenders. Oh, Jimi Hendrix. What is this? The Cure, a tribute. Oh, neat. Let's see the ear. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's not in great condition, but... Mm, it's not terrible, though. Hold on. 1980? 1980, okay. Shoot. 42 years old. There's more, unfortunately, like these stacked things on it. Okay. The Beatles. Oh. That's wow. Cool. Yeah, that is cool. It's kind of like an Andy bad. Warhol type look to it. I love it. Does it have That's a date on there? Look at me. It says printed in Great Britain, though. Two more. Okay. Jimmy Hendrix. Jimmy Hendrix. This, this is some kind of a reproduction thing, though. This one looks like it, right? Yeah, I think so. It still could be 30, 40 years old, though. It could be. It definitely. Oh, wow. That's European 1969. I think it's a reproduction. What does it say? Printed in the United mm -hmm. Kingdom, mm -hmm. so I don't know. I don't know either. That's pretty neat. Because, I mean, these aren't being printed here. It's not terrible the shape. Machines. They've obviously been displayed, but maybe we'll take them to Alameda. Could we Antique, do them on the auction? Antique. 20 years ago today. Charge of Peppers. No, that one's ripped. Mm -hmm. It's neat, though. It's super neat. Nice. 20 years ago today, so we couldn't know the date based on when that Sarge Peppers came out. This was 20 years later. That would have been the 80s, probably right? Sergeant Pepper was 60s, right? Yeah. Okay, so this fabric, and this looks like more appliance parts. I thought the people at the flea market would snag up those appliance parts because they could just list them and sell them. Mm -hmm. Especially when we're selling them for like a dollar each, and mm -hmm. they, they, you know, they're not very savvy pickers out in Stockton, you know? Mm -hmm. They're not. Should we open that one? Um, it's an evaporator kit, so it's another appliance part. Oh, okay. So. There's the number, Electrolux 530-391-8491. I'll look it up. If it's worth enough, I will list it. Maybe, probably. Kind of retro. This is all fabric here? Yeah. Fabric did not sell very well. Really? No, and I thought it would. I would too. We sold one piece of fabric, and it was a huge piece for five bucks. The whole entire couch has fabric. We filled it, and some satin and lace, random pieces of fabric. Some crocheting and knit. Yeah, I don't know about the fabric, but the crochet stuff we'll put in the auction, right? Sure, live yeah, absolutely. Auction. People love that. Where do we do the live auctions at? Monday nights. Rockin' nuts. On YouTube. YouTube. 5 p.m. Pacific. 
Okay, Jana's gonna go through these records right here because that's one thing we, we haven't looked at. The other records we found in here were all water damage, so these ones do look a little better, but they do look a little rough. Rough. Well, ruthless records, easy. Oh, oh, that's oh, oh. Good right there. Hang on. That's this could be something really good right here. Yeah. And it's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Please be an early press of this. Remember I told you we found that Luke Skywalker sleeves in the water damage stuff. And I said there could be some early... Compton, California. Whoa. This yeah, is this a very be... interesting. That might be good. Whoa. Ruthless records. Pick these home. Come on. Let's find some more rap. We like it. DJ Company. Rhythm of Love. $5.99. That, that's no easy E, but it could be good. Yeah, no, totally. No, we've Olivia had this one before. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll look through these. If we auction these, they're going to have to be in. Oh, what? Oh. 12 inch single, my Adidas. That looks good. Yeah, it looks good. We'll dust it off and look at it closer. My Adidas. That's so funny. Ooh, dang, this is good. This will make the, the whole locker worth it if this is some Time is original low. rap albums. Huh. huh. I never heard of it. Oh my gosh, Egyptian lover, I love that. Man, look at those pictures. This is some early stuff. Look at the look at the chains. Look at the hair. This is total eighties, like early eighties too, right? Mm-hmm. Wow, that's pretty cool. Cabbage patch. I love it. Oh, look at this guy's holding a shotgun. That's hilarious. These are cool. Yes, this is very cool. <gasps> DJ, DJ Jazzy, Jazzy Jeff. Jeff. And the Fresh Prince of Nightmare on My Street. This is Shut a good album. Up. Oh, good. That's good condition too. Oh man, I was hoping we'd have some good records and I think we do. That's awesome. That's exciting, right? Yes. I'm so tired good. of finding like classical and just garbage. Luke Records. This is, I think. Say it, play it. Two Life Crew. Life yes, crew. it is. It is. Mama Juanita. That will be very popular, right? I think so, yeah. DJ Quick. DJ Quick, yeah. Born and raised in Compton, 12 inch. Dude, these are like. Ooh, this is good. This Look is at the like, condition on that. No, this is really good. Dude, I'm happy. This is like the only good thing I found besides Invicta Watch and the Rams leather jacket. Tic Tac Toe. Chub Rock. I remember. I don't remember the songs, but I remember that guy. The Chubster. Sometimes. Oh, that's in beautiful shape. Look at that. Yeah. But sometimes some of those may be lower circulation. They're more yeah, valuable, for right? For sure. Mellow Man Ace. Uh, Chub Rock. Okay. Beauty and the Beat. Oh, salt, salt and pepper. pepper. Whoa. Oh, young salt and pepper. Yes. Hopefully that's their first album. I don't know. Two, Two Life Crew. Crew. Luke Skywalker. <laughs> this on, album baby. contains explicit lyrics. I think that's an understatement. Really? That is going to be a two. Band in the USA. Yep. You know their music, right? No, I mean, I know oh, who they are. Really I know who they are. In high school, they were big. It's really lewd. But, but I think it's going to be very collectible. Band, Band in the USA. You know why they called it that, right? Because in Florida, they in Florida they were got that banned. They Gore, got arrested in Florida. Tipper Gore was fighting against them. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that lyrics thing was a big thing in the '80s. It was. Um, more to life crew wearing the Whoa. Oakland A's. Oh. This is good stuff. You don't have to like the music here, guys. That you don't have to agree with their, uh, you know, their their use of the vernacular. But this is uh, this is some good stuff. I think this can be very collectible. I've never found early Two Life Crew stuff like this. And as uh, controversial as they were, I think they were responsible for that explicit warning going on albums. I think because of them, they put the explicit warning labels on. Feel the bass. Huh. The scratch version. That's kind of cool, right? For sure. This is great. This is great. Husband's happy. <laughs> this is great. Early rap stuff. That could be uh, one of the most valuable for all we know. Outcast. Oh, Outcast. Cars with the boom. Oh, yeah. We like the cars. Uh, the cars, cars that go yeah, boom. Yeah, We're really Kiga and Bunny, and we like the boom. Wow, honey. That's the same. A little cool. Going back. going back to Cali. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Look at this all these This is crazy. Baby. This is hecka good. What Rock. the heck? This is good. Run DMC, Mary Mary. Oh my goodness. He's got his Raiders. Yes. This is really, really good. Oh, wow. Karen White, Romantic. It looks like uh, Madonna's album with totally, the pearls. Totally, you're right. I if that yeah. was like a... Playoff. Yeah. Or if Madonna copied her, I don't know. G-Stone? G G-Fine. G-Fine. Let's so. do this and respect. LL Cool J. Yes. 
Mama said, That's knock it. you out. I'm going to knock you out. My gosh. DJ Quick. He's a baby I there. Had that, I had the album Has back in the day. Explicit. It did, too. Honey, you're really this? reliving your youth here. A lot of explicit. Showbiz and AG. Some of these might be really good. Yes. Oh my gosh, does that really say what I think it says? If I had a record label, that's what Slaughterhouse. Huh. Mm, this looks... Yeah. A little dark. blend of horror movies and... Right, he's got an electric <laughs> chainsaw. <laughs> Gangsta lean. It's the most scandalous group. That's what it says. Luke DRS. Skywalker Records. There's Double. another two left crew, maybe? Or it's just their... Twist and Death Squad. Just rock. I think Luke Skywalker is the guy from Two Life Crew's record label. Ay, ay, ay. Wait, wait, wait. That's two albums, right? Yeah. This is NWA right here. NWA, yeah. There's Two Life Crew. Here's NWA. What's this? Oh, dang. What is this? Look. I can't show the cover on that. There's Easy E. There's Dr. Dre. Easy E's there? Yeah, they were a part of NWA. There's Dr. Dre right here. Easy E. Okay, Rod Neo. These oh, are my, my beats. Oh, goodness, guys. This is uh... Warren G. Regulate the funk era. Tag team whoop. What's this? Oh, that's a whoop. Where, there it is. Oh. Whoop. There it is. Tag team. Back again. That's <laughs> Tommy, Tommy Boy. Boy. Planet Rock. Ah, oh, De La Soul. That's a good one. We found a couple. We had a couple of rock ones that were like, man, maybe we're losing it. But then we back to rap. But check this out. MC Hammer. MC Hammer time. Everyone loves MC Hammer. Which one was this? Dancing he, Machine. He actually lived in the town we grew up in. And his house was like, well, his mansion it was not that far from where I lived. How cool is that? Yeah. That's a 12 inch single on there. And then right here, MC Hammer. Pump it up. Pump and it up. Let's pump it up. Both sides. MC Hammer. Cool. And then check this out. Parents just don't understand DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. If you guys don't know that song, then dang, you must be young because this was the breakthrough for uh, Will Smith for both of them. But yeah, but Will Smith, this made him a household name. But of course, it was the Fresh Prince back then, right? But, yeah. Uh, this is what launched his career, which obviously has been an epic, huge career. In that song, I put the bass in my car, and I was pumping that song. That was such fun times. Oh, look at this one. Sally. That girl. Remember that song? No. What? Well, if you sang it, I probably would. Can you sing it for I, me? That is the chorus. You should know it by that. I don't remember the rest of the song. Is that Run DMC? Oh, Janet Jackson. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my that goodness. Is a... That's Michael Jackson with the wig on. Look at that. Right? They look identical right there. <laughs> <laughs> they look identical. That's, that may have been Michael, actually. Oh my gosh, the stop. Beat is you death. really. Maybe Janet Jackson never existed after all. Oh, stop. Love stop. Andy Motion. Well, have you heard from her since he died? Yeah, Take she had a baby. All right, uh, I haven't heard. Uh -uh. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Too legit suit. to quit. <laughs> Someone's become a rapper over the last 30 minutes. Whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. There it is. It's our high school. It says whoop, there it is. He's reliving high school times. Yeah. I don't exactly listen to the rap channels anymore. Whatever that is, it's moldy. C and C Music Factory. Mm. That's uh what's it called? I forget. That's sweat, right? Go make you sweat. You know You're, you're really good with the music, honey. Da, 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 da. You really know your music, honey. I got the power. Maybe that's it. I oh, I love that song. I got the power. DJ Tools. There's a lot of DJing ones in here too. Anything else? Ex-girlfriends. I don't. Do you know ex-girlfriends? Never heard of them. Definitely eighties though. Why can't they come home? I love their outfits though. I love their fits. That's the outfits our girls would wear now. I definitely don't want to hear my ex-girlfriends. Why do you say that? Please, Hammer, don't hurt them. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. It is. You're talking. You're gonna talk about your ex-girlfriends on the video. No. You can. You know, I was gonna make a joke, but you don't seem to think that's funny. I think Sally, it's funny. Sally, that girl. It doesn't bother me. Sally, that girl. Again. Is that your name? Is that her name, Sally? Whose name? Your girlfriend. <laughs> it's not even funny to joke about. Mm -hmm. People take this stuff seriously. All right, the rest is old timey stuff. Cool. Yeah. I oh. like old timey stuff. Waylon Jennings, Honky Tonk Heroes. That's cool. We got a bunch of loose stuff here. Ooh, oh, chunky. Uh, all broken. Partridge Family Christmas card. <laughs> Scratched and cracked. These are in really bad shape. That's fine. We just get rid of those. But so. 
I think that's a thousand dollars in records. Do you agree? I agree. Thousand dollars. Pop one. I have a feeling this garbage. Bag. Oh my gosh! Brand new clothes. It says. Wow, oh, I love that. Hey, look at there's a. Uh, the bottom's not even tape vest. I could wear at night when I'm walking. Oh, I already. Ah, dang it! Stinking grow lights. This is what, garbage. What does it grow for? You don't know. The, Crops. Tomatoes. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is garbage. Yeah, and the last one, the last wardrobe box I found was garbage. So that's a and trend. And the next one is garbage. You're coming to the close of this locker, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Do you think this stuff goes away overnight? No, I'm just saying, like, no, as far as... as... I leave, like, <laughs> on store doors television. <laughs> <laughs> that's no. a lot. So what are you saying? How many people do their work for them? Well, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. These guys are rich. We got people for that. We <laughs> are people right here. <laughs> I am my people. <laughs> Here's the staff right here. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh. Treasure hunting with the locker nuts here. There's some kind of appliance part. There's the jacket you wanted. Here you go. You the oh, they're pants. Oh, yeah. I'm going to wear that. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. That's great for Halloween. Yeah. Emergency services, it says. Triple A. I wonder if people would buy these at the flea market. No. That one's kind of dirty. I mean, I'll bring it to the flea market, but I'll be picking it You're off the ground. You're wearing it. I'm going to dirty. I keep myself clean. It's only dirty. It on actually me. looks good on you. It's your color. I sneeze. So when I need roadside to help you pull up in that. Oh, now you kind of look now like, look a, like fire a fireman, right? I kind of like it. Yeah. Here, let me get my phone out. I'm gonna get a pic like of that. I'm gonna, chop up with this. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get a pic of this. It's kind of. Get my glasses off. Oh yeah, now I'm you really no need get the firefighter look. Okay, hold on, one more, because I, I'm gonna kind of keep this. All right, here you go. Ooh, so handsome. Oh wait, yeah, give me that face. That's good. Hold on, you're now you're fighting a fire. Give me your face like you're going into danger. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> it's pretty funny, babe. How about this? <laughs> I'm gonna chop some. You can use that. I'm gonna use that pick as my wallpaper. You don't have goggles on. You need proper eyes. I eye. want to chop something now. I have an axe <laughs> in my hands. <laughs> Such a boy. <laughs> Such a boy. All right, this is a. a you know, this. There's some fabric. Oh, yeah. Uh, really terrible, really quick. It's garbage. I kind of smell something, too, back there. Like what? I'm not sure. Please don't be poop. Did you find poop in this locker earlier? That no. was in the other locker. No. Yeah, I have. There's a cute little That's panda down there. a couple lockers ago. All right, there she goes. She's off to get the kids from school. Love you, bye. All right, Jana just took off, and uh, that was nice. She came, and wow, I actually like so happy I didn't go through those records in the last one, but I did that intentionally because I thought, oh, I hope those records are good, but um, I'm gonna save them for the next episode because there may not be anything good in this locker. And sure enough, there really hasn't been that many good things, but those records, I think, quite possibly could make this entire locker worth it. That that is gonna make the whole thing worth it because there's so much garbage still to get rid of. Um, not everything is garbage here, right? Like those shelves up there, those are really really cool. Jana I was suggesting I bring those home and we put them on Facebook. We'll clean them up, put some oil on them. I think those are going to be, I think those are going to sell quick. I think those are so dang cool. Yeah, there, th but there is a lot of garbage. So a lot of work, a lot of garbage. The records though, the records, the records. Okay, anyways, I'm going to get to work. I'm not going to film so much of it this time, but my goal today is to get one more load to go to the dump. And then uh, I just remembered something. I left the TV in my car. I didn't dump it. Dang it. Oh, well. Um, but anyways, as I was saying, I'm going to get one more load to go to the dump today, and then I'll be back tomorrow. In the rain, doesn't matter, because there'll be a dump load. So, all right, get working. All right, well, we'll wrap this up in the next episode. But just to let you know, I did research most of those records, not all the records. The Easy E was the most impressive one. If you saw the comp I flashed on screen, that one has some value. So the high comp, meaning the most expensive one sold, sold at $750. That was back in 2017. These, these don't come up very often. If you look at Discogs, it shows how many people own it. People that are registered with Discogs, there was 50 something owners of that record. And there was over a thousand people 
who put it on their want list, their wish list to have that in their collection. So there's a big demand for that particular record. I do think it's the first press of that, uh, of that record. It's pretty incredible. But here's the deal with that collection. When we looked back later, um, you know, in the dark locker with no glasses on, the records look pretty good, but in uh, closer inspection with lights on, glasses, etc., they were in a little bit rougher shape, more scratches and stuff than we could see in the locker. So not quite the high values on those as we were hoping, but um, if we clean it up, we still would get a pretty good amount on those. But anyways, the rest of the albums were like good albums, but not great. The Easy e was the really the gem in the entire collection. It's so funny because it's the first one that we pulled out too. So anyways, got excited about that, but um, it's not quite, quite as amazing as we had first thought, but still a great find and still, I'd say still made the locker. All right, well, we're going to go back next time, wrap it up, still a little bit more stuff to find in the back corner, believe it or not. Uh, that'll happen in the next episode, but until then, good luck to you. God bless you. And we'll see you next time here on Locknuts. I think I've got some bits for it. I might just keep it. <laughs> Whoa, I think I see a laptop. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. There's a bell. Oh my goodness, there might be... What the heck? We're, we are finding good stuff in the back.